Hello and welcome to the Sketchlist 3D Video Guide. Sketchlist helps you brainstorm, plan, and execute your creative projects. This video demonstrates the flow and process employed in Sketchlist 3D. Let's go through the steps in a clearer and more concise manner. Step 1. The first step is to insert an object. There are three methods for inserting an object, adding a new assembly, inserting an assembly created in Cabinet Wizard, or selecting an assembly from the library. Each method will be discussed in detail in future videos. For this demonstration, we will add an assembly. Next, we will focus on sizing and locating, highlighting the three tools involved in this process. Dot tool. To resize or change the location of an assembly, we use dot tools. There are two types of dots, red and blue. Red dots are used for resizing, while blue dots are used for changing the location. Resizing. To resize an assembly, right-click on the red dot and enter the desired size. Click Apply to confirm the changes. Similarly, I will enter 48 as the new height for this assembly, and voila! The assembly is now resized. We will discuss it in details in coming videos. To further illustrate the resizing process, let's insert another assembly. Suppose you want to resize this assembly to fit next to the first one. Using the red, I will change its width to 60, ensuring it fits seamlessly beside the first assembly. Location Now that we have created a new assembly and resized it, let's adjust its location. To do this, we use the blue dot. Right-click on the blue dot to open a dialog box where you can enter the new location. Click Apply to confirm the changes. That's it! You have successfully changed the location or resized your assembly. Bonus tip! Here's a handy tip for you. By clicking on the blue dot, you can copy its values and paste them if you want to assign the same location to other objects. Calculator One alternative method for resizing and locating objects is by using the calculator tool. The calculator consists of 9 boxes and 9 buttons that work together seamlessly. Suppose I want to change the height of this assembly to 24. I simply type in a 24 as the new height value. Once I click outside of the text box, you'll notice that the labels transform into buttons. By clicking the appropriate button, I can modify the value. Let me demonstrate. Let's say I want to revert the height back to its original value of 48. I can easily input a 48 and restore it to its previous setting. Additionally, I can adjust the bottom value to 12, thereby altering the height accordingly. As you can see, there's a formula at play here. The bottom value plus the height value equals the top value. For example, 12 plus 36 equals 48. I can simultaneously modify both values to achieve the desired effect. Let's try changing them to 36 and 18, respectively, thereby adjusting the height. The same principles apply when it comes to locating objects. By using the calculator, I can modify the bottom value to zero, effectively moving the object downward from the top. With these three buttons, I have complete control over resizing and locating objects in three dimensions. It's that simple. Let's apply the same concept to another scenario. I'll move this object 90 units to the left. However, it's important to keep in mind that Sketchlist 3D follows a rule, everything must fit within its container. When I moved the object to the right, I exceeded the container's limits. So, I just need to adjust it slightly. Let's set it to 70 for now. The calculator function in Sketchlist 3D allows you to perform mathematical operations while sizing and locating objects. Let's take an example of adjusting the height. Hover over the height button and pause the cursor. You can then perform various math functions. For instance, you can subtract 5 from the height by clicking on the top column header. Let's consider another example where we multiply the height by 0.5. 
the calculation shows that it's 24, and the operation is completed. Similarly, you can also add or subtract values. For instance, if we want to add 3 sixteenths, we can click on the right column header. When it comes to division, we use the slash instead of the fraction sign to avoid confusion. So, instead of dividing by 3, we use multiplication by 0.33. Please note that the results may appear as rational numbers, but there's no need to be confused by them. And that's the calculator function. The same ability to perform mathematical operations exists in the spreadsheet as well. Next, let's explore the spreadsheet tool. Similar to the calculator, the spreadsheet assists you in locating and sizing objects in three dimensions. However, it offers an additional advantage by providing an overview of all objects in your project. Imagine if you had 200 boards in your project, they would all appear in the spreadsheet. This contextual view allows you to understand the relationships between different components and ensure a cohesive design. Let me provide an example. If you want the location of assembly 1 to be at the top, which can be easily done with the blue dot. However, with the spreadsheet, context is crucial. I want assembly 1 to be positioned at the same top as assembly 3, which is 120. So, I will change the value of assembly 1 to 120. Now, if I want assembly 1 to have the same size as assembly 3, look at the height of assembly 3, which is again 120. Therefore, I will change the height of assembly 1 to same value as well, with a bottom of 0. The spreadsheet will calculate the top position, so the calculator is also available within the spreadsheet. Now, let's also move the front of the assemblies. The front of assembly 1 is 18, while assembly 3 is at 0. So, I will change assembly 1's front to 0 and move it forward. You will notice that the spreadsheet also has the ability to calculate values. Move the cursor until the blue highlight disappears, and the cursor starts blinking at the text. Since I want the final value to be 60, I will type 120 by 0.5 and select where I want to apply it. In the spreadsheet, if you hold shift and click the column headers, it will sort the values. Moreover, by right-clicking in the spreadsheet, you can apply a filter to better manage the assemblies. To undo the selection, you can choose to select all. So, the three steps are insert, size, and locate, and the three tools are the dot, calculator, and spreadsheet. To summarize, Sketchlist 3D follows a three-step process, insert, size, and locate. These steps are supported by the three tools available, dots, calculator, and spreadsheet. With these tools at your disposal, you can unleash your creativity and bring your wood design ideas to life. Sketchlist 3D empowers you to explore the endless possibilities of wood design. Win more bids, spot the mistakes early, and pull advanced reports with Sketchlist, a complete 3D design software for all your wood project needs.